What up MVP crew? It's your boy Rajay, back in the building with another video. Guys, I'm not gonna do a long intro today. I got some shit on my mind and I wanna get it off. I just wanna rant to you guys a little bit. Guys, what do you think comes first? Being gay or being black? The only reason why I ask that is because I just had a conversation with a friend who's straight. Um, the conversation got a little bit heated just because, you know, we felt like he didn't know where we were coming from. Um, and he felt like he was right. And I mean, I don't think anybody's right in the situation, but I do think that, you know, people need to realize that everybody comes from different walks of life. So everybody's different. Um, and that's the exact thing. Everybody's different. So just because you were brought up to hate gay people or you were brought up to think less of gay people or think that being gay is wrong, doesn't mean that that's what's right because that's the way that you were brought up. And his argument was, you know, that's the way that he was brought up, that, you know, gay is a sin and this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, how can you call yourself cool with us if you think that what we're doing is a sin for one? But that's on a whole nother subject. Okay, guys, I'm rambling. This video is about does being gay come first or does being black come first? And the only reason why I ask that is because I feel like a lot of black people um you know they haven't set in their mind that the gay community as a whole well the gay black community as a whole um should support everything that they're doing black lives matter which don't get me wrong i do support and let me just go ahead and put this out there now i'm not hating on my black community i'm not hating on anything like that i'm 100 percent proud to be black that's not the case at all but the problem for me is when you want me to, you want me to support and put my all into, you know, this culture that you guys are trying to bring in that should have been brought in a long time ago. We Black people should be getting the respect that they deserve. Black people shouldn't be afraid to get pulled over by the police because they think that they're going to get shot. I 100% agree with you. But at the same time, black people don't accept the gay community. Every time I go on media takeout, every time I go on the shade room, every time I go on any type of gossip site like that, and they post anything about a gay person, all the black straight people are, you know, faggot this, faggot that, I hate gay people, gay people gonna die. But yet we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be down with y'all with the black cause and all this and all that. What comes first? Am I a gay man first or am I a black man first? Am I supposed to just sit by and and, and act like I don't see the hate that y'all have towards us. The same hate that white people have towards us as a black community, us as a race. Y'all are y'all are doing the same thing. So how can y'all, so that, that just makes me think like, how can y'all really be mad at the white people for doing some shit that y'all are doing? Y'all are contradicting yourself. Like the same shit that the white people are doing, they don't like y'all, they hate y'all, they discriminate against y'all, are the same shit that y'all are doing to us. But we're supposed to stand there, Black Lives Matter, and we're supposed to, you know, go along with it, but yet we're not getting that same support for the cause that we're trying to bring to the table. That every man, every woman should be created equal. Regardless of who you decide to sleep with, we're not getting that respect. We're not getting that support from y'all. So it's kind of hard for a gay person to even even support those things just because we're not getting the support that we need. And I don't I don't think that that's fair. Um, I know that life isn't fair. I know that, you know what I mean? I know that everything that everybody do isn't fair, but I just, I don't think that that's fair that y'all expect so much out of us when y'all give so little to our lifestyle. Okay, so for example, let's take the Pulse nightclub shooting that happened last year. So, I've seen comments from straight black people talking about the Lord is mad at gay people, the Lord is trying to eliminate gay people, this, that, and the third. Like, no type of, you know, no type of, not even if you're not even trying to give no support because you don't, you know what I'm saying, you're not down with people being gay or whatever the case is. Even if that was the case, bro, like, there was still no type of sympathy. Like, damn, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like... Regardless of who they decided to sleep with at night and how they decided to live their life, they were human beings, some being black, 
but you didn't you the, the the black community didn't see them as being black they saw them as being gay first so therefore they didn't give a fuck that they got killed like how does that even work and then a few weeks later after the post nightclub shooting um there was an unarmed black man who got shot by the police and black lives matter black the black internet black culture went crazy i mean went off the walls crazy where is that same support when our trans where is that same support when my sister china gibson you know got killed in new orleans where was that support at but you guys want us to march and you guys want us to hold our fist up high and support y'all in what y'all are doing but y'all can't support us in what we're doing I mean, I, I, I keep saying that over and over and over, but that's the whole purpose of it. Like, y'all don't get what it is to be black and gay. Not only are we fighting the same fight that y'all are fighting, and we're fighting, you know what I'm saying? We're fighting to have equality just for being a black male in America. But yet, we have something else on our back that we have to fight for. We have to fight to be a black gay man in America. Do you know how hard it is to fight to be a black gay man in America? And then it's like... The same shit that y'all get mad about for the white people doing. Y'all get mad, y'all say that they're trying to steal our culture. Y'all get mad and say, you know, they're using our words. They're doing this, that, and the third. Wake up, black people. Y'all have been doing that to gay people for the longest. We're your stylist. We're your, we're your hairdresser. We're all of that. Girls walking around here talking about no shade. I've even heard straight niggas talking about shade. Charlamagne the God said something about shade on the radio the other day. That's what I'm saying. Like, girls, are, girls and boys are running around here using the gay lingo, overusing it, should I say, but using the gay lingo, snapping their fingers, girl this, shade that, honey child, boo, all of that. Y'all are doing the exact same thing. Y'all are stealing our gay culture, but y'all don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are literally doing everything that y'all are complaining that the white man is doing to y'all. Y'all are doing us times 10. And I understand gay people, I'm not even trying to compare the gay, well, fuck it. I am comparing it, but I do also understand that there were different struggles that gay people have to face and there were different struggles that black people had to face. I understand, you know, the civil rights movement and all that and everything that black people had to go through. I understand slavery, I understand all of that. I'm not erasing any of that from our history whatsoever. That's what got us here today. That's what got me to be able to sit here and talk freely about what I want to talk about. But at the same time, you guys have to understand that the gay people are pretty much fighting the same fight that black people are fighting. We All we want to do is be accepted in this world for who the fuck we are, bruh. We don't want to have to... Well, I'm not going to walk around scared because I keep my gun on me anyway. But... You get what I'm trying to say. We don't want to have to walk around scared that somebody's going to try to kill us or somebody's going to try to gay bash us because they don't like our lifestyle. Just like black people don't want to have to be scared that every time they get in their car, they might get stopped and get shot. If they go down the wrong road, they might run into a whole bunch of racist ass white people and they might get killed. That's the sh that, like literally that's the same shit that we're going through. And black people can't even open their mind up that much to see that our struggles are actually quite the same. And I'm not saying black people as if I'm not black, because like I said, I love being black. I love everything about the black culture, but there are some fucked up situations in the black culture and black people not supporting gay people are one of them. Like y'all, black people, minorities in general should, should feel what gay people feel. They're trying to live the American dream, not even the American dream. They're just trying to live the dream of life. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to be successful in life, not have to walk around scared. You know what I'm saying? And get the same respect and get the same the same opportunities that white people get. Same thing with black people. We're trying to live the normal life. We're trying to be successful in life. And we're trying to get the same opportunities that straight people get. I don't understand why that why that's so hard for you guys to comprehend or why that's why it's such a big deal to the gay community or the straight community you know the fact that like us being gay has nothing to do with you so if i get killed on the street and the news headline says 
black gay male killed on the street by police. Is the world gonna go into uproar for me like they went for all these other people who got flamed by the police because they were black? Or is it gonna be like, oh, that nigga was gay, fuck that nigga. And that's what I mean. You guys don't support when the support needs to be there, but you guys always want us to support and hold down the black culture, which I'm gonna continue to do just because that's me. That's how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? I was raised to make sure that I, I stand up for what is right. So regardless if, if a person is white, black, yellow, green, orange, I'm going to stand up for what I feel is right. And that's just me. And I wish that more people were like that. I wish that more people could stand up for what they feel is right. Instead of, oh, well, he's gay, so, mm, yeah, whatever. No, it's not right what's happening to gay people. It's not right that we have 20-something transsexuals that's got shot this year. It's not right. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's not right, and I don't, I don't understand what somebody could be going through in their head, or how they can be genetically set up, and how, like, I don't understand how their clocks tick for them to think that just because somebody's gay, then fuck that nigga. Because that's pretty much what my homeboy was saying earlier today, like, not really, but he was saying, straight people don't have to support black gay males. And I'm not just saying it for the black gay males, I'm using it because I'm talking about black people, but straight people don't support black gay males um, and they don't have to support black gay males. And they have every right to expect black gay males to support um, groups like, um, to support groups like, you know, Black Lives Matter and stuff like that because at the end of the day, we're black. I 100% get it at the end of the day that I'm black. But at the end of the day, when I lay down, I'm also a gay man. I'm a black gay man. So that just brings up the question again. What comes first? Are you a gay black man or are you a black gay man? I wish that there could be, you know, they can just both be here because both of those are me. But it seems like straight people want to make us choose which one we're gonna support. Are we gonna support the gay clause, or gay clause, the gay cause, or are we gonna support the black cause? I mean, I, I try to support both of them, but I just, I hope and pray that straight people will see this and it opens up some type of dialogue about, you know, what's more important. Is it more important that, a, oh, he was gay, so it doesn't really matter that he got killed, or, that was one of us. That was our, that was our brother. That, you know what I'm saying? Like that was that was our brother. That's that's my nigga. Like he was one of us, and he got killed. The same reaction that we're giving, you know, to all these other people who got killed by the police should be the same reaction that we're giving to that gay person. Him being gay doesn't take away from him being black, and that's the problem that we're going through right now. Black people think that when somebody turns gay, that automatically excludes them from the black group. So. It just, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, guys. And I'm going to end the video right here because if not, I'm going to keep rambling on and on and on about it because that's the type of person I am. I'm going to just start, like, literally, I'm just going to always think about it until it fucking drives me crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and end this um, video right here. Sorry that I wasn't that energetic. Um, I didn't really feel like this was a energetic type of, type of conversation like that, I felt like this was more of a serious conversation, a dialogue that needs to be had. So guys, make sure that you share this video. Make sure that, you know, you talk about it so that we can we can figure something out because the fight isn't over. Um, the battle isn't over by a long shot. Um, pe black people are still getting killed. Gay people are still getting, black gay people are still getting killed. Black gay people are still getting shunned from their families and getting shunned from churches for being gay. But yet we're supposed to all stick together and be this one black family that are all trying to fight for a, a better life for all of us. Unless you're gay. Like, I don't know guys. Guys, what do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. Are you guys gay first or are you guys black first? I know a lot of you guys, I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down for this video probably just because 
of the subject and how touchy the subject is. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. Um, that's why this is my channel because I'm going to talk about what the fuck I want to talk about. And I mean, if anybody's mad about it, hey, I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't give a fuck no more. Like that shit really just, I mean, that pisses me off that people expect me to support them when they can't support, when they can't support me. And it just really, it, it shows you how real people are. But like I was saying, guys, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you're gay first, if you're black first. I don't know. <laughs> Leave that comment down below, guys. Uh, make sure that you smash this video. Smash it thumbs down. Smash it thumbs up. I really don't care. Just smash the video. And smash it, smash it, smash it. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, if you are not a part of the MVP crew yet, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right now. If you are a part of the MVP crew, I thank you and I salute you. You guys are the real MVPs. Love you guys to death. Guys, if y'all aren't a part of the notification gang, gang, gang yet, make sure that you go ahead and hit that notification bell. It looks something like that. Maybe y'all, it looks kind of like a bell this way. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Anyway, it looks something like that. Uh, make sure that y'all go ahead and hit that notification bell for your boy so that you can be notified every time that I post a new video. I'm about to go ahead and get out of here. It's your boy, Rod J. Signing out. Peace.